Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today I wanted to bring you guys some more Rogue Tower. And if you missed last episode, uh, there's a huge March of Madness update that came out. So last time we played just on single defense trying to beat March of Monsters, and uh, we're going to try again. Because we got far, but we, we didn't win last time. And if you don't know what this game is, uh, very easy to kind of understand. It is a roguelike tower defense game. So right now, we just start off with Ballistas. And we're going to go ahead and place the Ballistas uh, next to every single house house to protect them um, because uh, the houses like when they're protected and they give us money so we're literally going to just spam the crap out of our ballistas here all around these houses here I think that's the strat and then we're going to expand so every every round we get to pick a card that buffs us here um, so and uh, here I'm gonna up turn the volume up just a little bit let me know if that's too loud or quiet um, but we get to we get to do an upgrade here so ballistas we could upgrade our ballistas we could try to um, you know what? Let's let's do the obelisk here. It's going to take us a little bit of time to be able to get the mana. We actually get to get two upgrades here. Um, regenerate 1% of your max mana per second. Ooh, let's actually do that. So we're going to have obelisks here. But with March of Madness, we also now have to buff the enemies. So monsters get more armor. Monsters drop less gold. Or monsters deal an additional damage. Let's give them extra armor here. So we're going to expand this here. As you can see, they're... They're coming by, and as soon as they get to our base, they're going to just get murdered. And yeah, actually, I would say this is a rogue light because there's a lot of out-of-game progression. We've already maxed out the out-of-game progression. If you want to see us do that, you know, we got a whole playlist of this. Um, but yeah, that's a good point. There is a lot of progression here. Um, okay, ballistas deal damage to shields. Air strikes are really fun. Frost keeps. Um, let's go ahead and just buff up our bows here, maybe. Um, and then Orbalisks, so, or not Orbalisks, that's Peglin. Obelisks. Um, all Obelisks deal extra damage to armor. Sure, why not? And we're gonna say monsters get additional shields here. Okay. Um, and I'm kind of trying to save up money, because an Obelisk costs a thousand, and we kind of just blew a lot of our money on these, um, you know, these Ballistas here. But we're gonna be fine, because, you know, they're, it's gonna take us a while here, so, um... And I'd say roguelite. Uh, yeah, Vampire Survivors is definitely a roguelite. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and take um, ball Ballistas. Ooh, Ballistas deal poison damage. And then we're going to do every enemy killed regenerates maximum mana. Or no, generate mana through the magic of Magic Market. We want that. That way we can actually have a bunch of mana because the obelisks uh, take mana. Uh, increase monsters maximum haste. We'll take that. So it is interesting that we have to constantly... Not only buff ourselves, buff the enemies. We're still trying to save up money. We have the thousand gold. We spent so much money doing this thing here. So, buffing enemies as well. Very interesting. Kind of reminds me of Shotgun King. Exactly. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Actually, a lot of it. Yeah. It is very interesting because it's it, it's another layer of... So, we actually are getting two upgrades every round instead of one to make up for the fact that we have to buff enemies. Normally, we would only get one card per round. Um, so, Obelisks deal 25% burn damage. That sounds pretty dope. And we're going to say um, Ballistas do more poison damage. And we're going to say, let's uh, decrease monsters maximum slow. I don't... I actually want to slow them this time. So we're going to say increase maximum haste here. Okay, we finally have enough. Here we go. Obelisk got. We got an obelisk. Look at this, guys. Look at this. It's just going to obliterate them. It's just obliterating them. And we got to pay attention to our mana here, obviously. That's pretty sick, though. Uh, we're going to say every enemy killed regenerates mana. We want to make sure our mana is okay here. And uh, we're also going to go ahead and get the university just for the future. Fortified monsters reduce incoming base damage. Sure. Now, I think I actually want to take this. Um, also, you can now copy and paste pr target priority. There was like a quality of life update, which is kind of nice. But we're going to do most armor most health, and then most shield. So it's going to prioritize stronger people versus people up front. Also, here's another house. So we do want to go ahead and start building uh, ballistas here. But here we go. Obelisk, do your thing! Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So obviously it's, you know, it's letting some people go because it's prioritizing um, you know, the stronger people, which is what we wanted to do because you know, they, they, they can get murdered here like this. So we're, we're pretty good here. Um. Oh, man. Um. 
You know, I'm gonna go ahead and get a mine and then regenerate another 2% of your max mana per second. Uh, monsters gain a little bit of movement speed, sure. And then we're gonna build, expand, and then we're gonna build. We just wanna, anytime there's a house, we wanna cover it fully. We wanna, we totally wanna cover it as early as we can here. These, I'm gonna actually switch them to the fastest. Um, I think is, is the meta play that I learned a while ago. Cause sometimes there's really fast enemies and you wanna make sure you're hitting them. And then I get to the obelisk. And because we've done so many mana upgrades, I don't even have to build any mana banks right now. Which is nice. Oh, just look at that. That's so satisfying. That's so satisfying. Get murdered. Get murdered. Okay. Um, obelisk, steal extra damage to... Let's do to health. Regenerate another 3% of your max mana per second. We'll go do that. Or the frost keep. Ooh, let's do a frost keep. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a, a frost keep slowing enemies when they're near the orbalisk. Uh, we'll go ahead and give monsters an additional 5% health. And we'll do that. And then here's a, another ballista here that we can turn on to fastest. Um, so now at this point in time... Um, I don't know if I should build an orbalisk. Or, I keep saying orbalisk because of Peglin. Um... I kind of want to build a frost keep right here. So as soon as we can... Okay, here we go. So look at this. The frost keep is now slowing enemies that go within this area. It is just taking two mana per second. So look at our mana. Our mana is flying down. So I am going to have to start building some mana banks here probably. Um, all orbalisks... I keep saying orbalisks. Peglin has ruined me. All obel obelisks deal two damage to armor. Um... Regenerate another 3% of your max mana per second. And we're going to go ahead and uh, let them have more haste or something like that. Frost keep next to the obelisk. Yep, there you go. Um, okay. I think, I, think, I think we're good with that. Um, we may uh, let, let's, let's pay attention here. Because obviously, look, look at our mana. You know, our mana is, uh, you know, being used up or whatever. But I'm also going to start building mines all around here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend my money building mines here. When you build mines around these rocks... They increase your maximum HP and also uh, allow you to potentially um, heal up your tower HP if we were to take damage here. So, get some stretches here as well. While we're, we're seeing what's happening here. Oh, dude. This is such a cool strat. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so satisfying. Also, I think this I think this also does damage. The frost keep does do damage, which is nice. Um all obelisks deal 3 damage to armor. Um all obelisks deal Actually, let's do this university. I want to prepare for the universities cuz those are important. Um we're going to give the monsters more health or shield whatever we just did. And let's I don't know. The mines are necessarily the most important thing, but I just I just want to do it, you know? Because sometimes you take a lot of damage. This is going to be a good opportunity for another Frost Cape and Obelisk. So we're going to eventually try to save our money for that. But for the time being, I want to go build another mine right here. So we've increased our max HP from 20 to 25. So pretty good. So yeah, I'm, I do want to build another Obelisk. I'm going to try to put it at this intersection right here. So uh, we actually are having a branching path, which is going to be kind of spicy. Spicy, spicy. So yeah, I think if... Um... If they're all the same speed, it's just going to target whoever's in front. So, it's Morbalisk time. Oh, man. Oh, that Frost Keep is so good. It's so good. Oh, this is such a good little combo here. It's such a good combo. And then we have a single person. You think he can get to our tower, guys? I don't know. I don't know if I feel safe here. Cool. Um... Let's see. Uh, all obelisks do extra damage to shields. And all obelisks... Uh, ooh. Enemies drop extra gold on death, but they deal extra damage to the tower. You know what? Sure. We could use more money. Um, increase monsters maximum haste. Okay. So we're going to start expanding here. So now we want to save up 1250 for an obelisk right here. It's going to take It's gonna take a while, though. It's going to take a while. But that's okay. Also, I'm gonna move you guys over here. I think I think that would be a better place for you guys. Okay. 
Let's see. It's going to be a little bit risky trying to save up our money, but I think it'll be worth it. I mean, I think we got a good combo. Uh, these things right here are going to, uh, you know, specifically be bringing stuff in. Also, if you haven't seen us play this game since the new update, um, the wave generation is also random. There's still enemies we have never even seen, potentially, so it's going to be spicy. Oh, yeah, we're totally fine, dude. Dude, obelisks shred early game. And now they're catching people on fire as well, so this is, this is where it's going to be satisfying. We got these giant caravans. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the caravans are dead. And now it's just the people. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Because yeah, if there's a couple left over, that's fine. We have a whole army of ballistas over here. This is the highest cliff jump high dive you've done? I have done a, kind of a random question, but I've done a uh, free fall into a net. Like, I don't know, 10, 15 feet. I've not done um, cliff jumping, though. It's fun, though. It sounds fun. Um, okay, Frost Keep does... Okay, wait, so let's see here. So what is what is the... Obelisk is bad about shields. So I think I want to focus on conductive snow, making it do more damage to shields. All Frost Keeps do poison damage. What? Okay. Uh, let's increase the uh, move... Uh, yeah, health. Sure. And now we're going to build an Orbalisk here. Not an Orbalisk, an Obelisk. We built an Obelisk. And uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to... Uh, now, because there's a quality of life update, I can copy that. And I can just click Paste here. And it's going to automatically do all the priority stuff. So it's pretty good here. So we'll uh, we'll expand this way. So mana is going to be an interesting situation here. We'll go ahead and build a Frost Keep as well. So I'm going to have to pay attention to our mana. Our mana may be a bit spooky here. Too much peglin, my guy. <laughs> Time to mod it to be called an Orbalisk. Oh my gosh. Yeah, our mana is still fine. Our mana is totally fine because of all of the uh, mana upgrades that we got. And the second it's not, we just build a couple mana banks and then we'll be okay. Dude, we've already almost murdered everyone and they haven't even gotten to our second Obelisk. Pretty sick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sprinkling around some ballistas, probably, I would think. Um, just to kind of help support everything, because, you know, they are good. And there's, like, a lot of nothing here, you know? I mean, this could be another good place for another obelisk and another frost keep, actually. Maybe that's what I do right here. Hey, Leo. We're, uh, we're, we're just starting out a, uh, a build with obelisks and frost keeps. Which, okay, so also, so f this is good at health, mainly. This is good at armor mainly. I do think we should get something that prioritizes shield. Which I think is poison. Is it poison? No, poison's good against armor. I think Tesla coils are good against shields. So we'll just um, frost, do poison, and uh, banditry. Enemies drop extra gold, but they even do... Yeah, let's do that. That's good early on, I think. We'll get a bunch of gold here. Uh, give monsters more health, sure. Oh, there's a mine. Place for us to build a single mine. So, yeah, we're probably going to want... Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and build... Uh, we, we need some mana banks here. I'm going to build a mana bank here. Yeah, look at our mana. Our mana is, like, plummeting down. So, we need some mana banks here um, to help with the mana production here. Mana bank... Isn't that an absurd amount of mana consumption? It is, but at the very beginning of the game, we got an absurd amount of um, mana regeneration. We just naturally have 6% of our max mana per second regenerating and 1% every time we kill someone. So for the most part, we're good. Especially now that we have two mana banks, we should be really, really good. Also, what is this? Is this a mini boss? There's some mini boss of some sort. But yeah, we're gonna try to do the smart thing and I think we're gonna try to get Tesla coils because Tesla coils are, um, good at shield uh shield damage and yeah so here we go tower tesla coil use mana to electrify that it's going to use even more mana though so we're going to start now doing all mana banks store an extra 15 ma maximum mana so we're going to go from 240 to now 270 uh monsters gain additional five percent armor so let's start anywhere we have this we're going to build a tesla coil thing which is kind of sucks like okay that yeah but see shield Shield damage. Um, let's build two Tesla coils here then, maybe. 
Yeah, two. So two Tesla coils there. This is going to consume so much mana, which means we're just going to need to mana bank it up. I mean, look at this. This is going to be insane, though. Look at this. Look at this. So we're slowing everyone. We're using the obelisks. We're Tesla coiling. We're getting everyone real low here. Um, I do need to just man. I mean, we gotta we gotta buy a couple mana banks here. But the more mana banks we have, the more. That's why I like mana bank builds versus the um, the other way to do mana because mana banks actually increase your maximum uh, mana. And if we're generating six percent of our maximum mana a second, obviously the more maximum mana you have, the better. You know. So let's now we're gonna build a Tesla coil right here. Yeah, maybe we build two Tesla coils on each of these things. Okay. Um, obelisk steal extra damage to... Uh, oh, actually, life steal. Every enemy killed regenerates an additional 1% max mana. And we're going to do... Mana bank store an extra 15 maximum mana. So we just did... Monsters deal an additional one damage. Sure. We're going to just assume if they get to our base, we're dead. Probably. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, oh, dude. If I... Sp oh, there, there's actually going to be... Okay. It's actually going to be a spot where they can't spawn anymore here. That's interesting. Um, okay, let's, um, you know, build. So we have two. Actually, I don't like that there. I don't, I don't, I think, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just keep that there. Whatever. This, this, I, yeah, I, mm, I really, whatever. I like how the two deaths aren't completely synced up, so it's just zap, zap. Oh, there's Oogie. But guess what's good? Our obelisk is just melting the Oogie boss. Oh, let's go. Spawn camp them exactly, exactly. That's the that's the goal here. So I want to build another little camp somewhere here, maybe like right here. That would be good. Our mana is doing perfectly fine. We're good. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and build a obelisk right here. Oh, that is that is an amazing spot for an obelisk. Copy. So we're gonna paste this there. So we got another obelisk here. We got a chest. What do we get? Um, I don't really like any of these. These are towers that I don't really want. We'll take a shredder, whatever. Obelisk steal damage to no life steal. Um, actually, no. Obelisk steal two damage to health. And ooh, Tesla corals do extra damage to health. I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, now we're gonna do obelisk do more damage to shields. Um, obelisk deal one base damage for every second they target the same enemy. We're gonna make the monsters move a little bit faster. That's probably okay. I'm back. I see obelisks. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you can technically get like 15 obelisks without any other mana towers. Okay, so we're going to expand this. So now there's actually a portal here. So we actually know where they're spawning here. Um, so we're going to... Now I want to build a frost keep right here. Oh, that's pretty good. I think. Or what happens if I were to put a frost... Oh, there's some fast guys here. Okay, frost keep. What happens if I put a frost keep up there? That's not where I really want it. Okay, whatever. Frost keep um, right there. And then we'll get um, a Tesla coil right here. So we, we're, we got an obelisk. Yeah, this is really good because the obelisks are good at armor. The uh, frost is good against health. And then the, um, uh, you know, Tesla is good against shield. This is really, really good, honestly. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, Tesla's, uh, obelisk do more burn damage. Enemies drop two gold, but they deal one damage to tower. Yeah, we're, we're fully committing. If someone gets to our base, we're dead. We're gonna just hope they don't do that. Uh, fortified monsters reduce incoming base damage. Sure, that's fine. Um, what I want to do, we need to sprinkle around some ballistas. I think we need to sprinkle around some ballistas. So we're going to copy, we're gonna do the stereotypical thing where we're going to just, um... Put a couple around every now and then here um, and put them all at targeting the fastest. Um, that way, we just have consistent damage. We can kind of maybe stop some of the obnoxious... Um, actually, this can, be, this can just be progress, actually, because it's getting close to the end here. Um, and maybe like a ballista, you know, right there. Yeah, okay. I like it. Uh, this could be, yeah, yeah, okay. So we spent a lot of money here just kind of building up some, um, you know, some ballistas, just some consistent damage. Oh, here's a mini boss here. Yaga Baba. Yaga Baba. I forgot a spot by a house next to the castle. Oh, did I really? Okay, we'll check that out here in a second. I want to pay attention to how we do here. Come on, give me a. Nice! We actually got a chest. 
I'll test the coils, do two damage to health. Let's go. Sometimes the mini bosses. There's also mini bosses in this game on top of it. Like this new update is, is why I'm wanting to start playing this game again. I mean, they added so much content in this update. Obelisk get more range. That's pretty good. Um, test the coils, do more damage to... Um, let's do test the coils, do three damage to health. And we're going to make that monsters move a bit faster. So you're saying I missed a... Oh, I did miss a spot here. There you go. Um, I already made a thousand... Yeah, the, we're, we're earning a lot of gold here. We really are. Um, okay. Let's go ahead, build a test the coil right uh, here. Oh, wait. No, no. That's not what I wanted. I wanted an obelisk right here. And we're going to do the stereotypical thing. Copy. Paste. Let's go ahead and get a frost keep uh, right there, and then we're gonna get a Tesla coil right there. Dude, we got a we got a wombo combo here. That's for sure. We're earning so much money. Um, oh, obelisks have even more range. I like that. Um, reduce the mana cost of all obelisks by twenty percent. That sounds pretty good too. <sighs> Um, fortified monsters reduce damage. I think that's fine because we have obelisks, like, just destroying them. Let's start going down here. Ooh, this is a great opportunity for another spot. Um, okay, we probably need some mana banks here. Mana bank. I'm gonna build two mana banks to kind of future-proof. So now we have 500 mana. Max mana. Oh, dude, that's not even enough. We gotta keep building mana banks. Keep building mana banks. Oh, there's that mini boss right here. Squeakers. We're fighting squeakers. I'm gonna build one more mana bank. Just kind of future proof ourselves a little bit. Oh, this is so good. We didn't get a chest from there, unfortunately, but whatever. Um, all frost keeps deal two damage to shields. Um, all obelisks do three damage to health. Fortified monsters reduce even more damage, sure. Okay. I wanna save up 2,000 to build a obelisk right here. Dude, this is so good. This is so good. This build. I mean, we're only at level 20, so maybe I maybe I shouldn't like jump the gun. Every build is good this early. But okay, obelisk. Bada bing. Bada boom. Um cop look at how much range. Look at how much range the obelisks have since we've gotten those upgrades. Also, this is why we have our people targeting fastest. Look at look at that. Look at how fast those freaking people are. Upgrade some of the towers would help too. So they auto upgrade themselves. So my strat normally is to build as many towers as I can and then they slowly auto upgrade. And then like if I'm in a crisis, then I can upgrade them in specific specifically. But I prefer to let them auto upgrade themselves. Um, enemies drop three gold when they die. However, they also gain speed. Sure. Why not? Um, that's not gonna bite me in the butt. Don't worry. Uh, reduce mana cost of all obelisks by 20%. It's pretty good. Um, give the monsters extra shields. So we have an obelisk here. Let's go ahead and get a frost keep. And we're gonna go get a Tesla coil. Let's go. But you are right. Upgrading towers is really good. Also, here's another mini boss. Strode von Winkelwich. I just got a notification as you said something, so it sounded like it bleeped out swearing. <laughs> okay, so our mana's doing okay here. I like that we can keep doing the lowering the mana cost of the uh, obelisks. That's going to help a lot. Um, I think we may want to throw down a bunch more ballistas, but we're not upgrading the ballistas. We haven't really upgraded the ballistas. That's why... I, but I think it's still important, though. Also, yeah. Oh, okay, we got a chest. That's good. That got, that got close. Um, reduce mana cost. No, okay. All frost keeps do damage to shields. All frost keeps get one range. That's actually really good. Monsters get 10% extra health. Sure. Okay, treasure. Um, all test the coils do more damage to shields. Cool. I'm glad we got a chest there. Okay, we have 3,000 to spend. Um, let's throw down a bunch of ballistas here. Ballista copy we're gonna paste yeah i do think we should just throw down a couple more ballistas ballista um ballista um ballista ballista 
Um, keep that on normal. Throw two. We'll th yeah, we'll throw it on one more ballista here. Ballista. Okay, there we go. So kind of helping out just across the board a little bit here. Okay. Um, shredders could be decent, but we're not upgrading shredders. That's why I don't want to like focus too too much on that, you know. Oh, my mana. What's up? Okay, 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 okay. Fine, 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 fine. I'm building mana banks. I'm building mana banks. Oh my gosh, the mana, <laughs> the mana they are using. <laughs> oh, look at the mana banks we gotta have here. That's insane. Working out though. Okay, reduce mana cost of obelisks by 20% again. Um, I'll test the coils, do some poison damage. That sounds kind of cool. Um, yeah, let's just make the monsters move a little bit faster because we're slowing them, right? It's pretty decent. Upgrade the ballistas at some point. It'll be kind of useless even if you have 200. I w that's the thing. I, I, they're not the priority here. You're, norm you're right. But they're not necessarily my priority here. Also, where do I want to build another obelisk? Probably in this main center here. Because this targets everything. So I think having another one right here could be decent. Yeah, let's go ahead and build one right next to this one here. So we have two, two obelisks, baby, right here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw down maybe another frost keep or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's throw down a frost keep right here and then like a test the coil right here if we can oh gosh are we okay because this is the main path we, we want to make sure that we're we're doing okay on this main path here what is the orbalisk laser cause a shit cause a shadow it's just that powerful it's just that powerful it is getting scary some of these guys are making it through a little bit i mean they've, oh dude one oh my gosh look at that something spawned something Oh, dude, that's five damage every time it goes through because of, you know, the gold thing that we've been doing. Yikes. Okay. Um, shredders gain damage. All frost, get armor. Okay. Obelisks do more poison damage. Um, and all Tesla coils do damage to armor. <sighs> Whew. Okay. Monsters gain a little bit more health. This is a bit scary. Need more mon- uh, Yeah. You know what? Let's go ahead and build some mines here. Just to heal up, get us a little bit more leeway since we're being so aggressive. I feel like we don't need to go full on aggressive here, right? Build some mines here to increase the max HP and also increase the chance of us healing. So mines are very affordable too. I mean, we just spent all our money on them, but you know, whatever. Um, okay, mine, mine. Oh, maybe I should stop worrying about that. Maybe I should worry about like killing my enemies, right? Maybe that would be a good idea. Like th this, this, this is this is a good opportunity right here. So let's build a Tesla coil right here. We can build a Frost Keep right here. Dude, look at that mana. Okay, there we go. We bought a. Oh, that's a good Frost Keep too. Cause th this path path right here, they all have to go through regardless. But what the crap is this? Okay, we're doing okay here. Uh, maybe we get like another Tesla coil right here. No, it's not good. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, let's uh Oh gosh. Okay, obelisk. No, I can't afford an obelisk. Tesla coil maybe. Oh, I don't even know. I'm choking. I'm choking. I'm choking. Tesla coil. Tesla coil. I don't know, dude. Did we just lose? Did we just lose? Me upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Did we just lost? Oh, we just lost. Oh, dang. Dang. See, we were being too aggressive with the, the greed thing. So I honestly don't know what the problem was there. Was it health? Were we not doing enough health damage? I don't know. I don't know. Let's try it again. We'll try one more run here. We'll try one more run. I'm not satisfied with that run. It was health. Yeah, I think we weren't doing enough health damage. Because the Frost Keep itself, I mean, isn't like the biggest damage dealer, you know? So I, I suppose I understand that a little bit. Um, so now what if we do a ballista only build here? Because ballista only builds, at least at one point, were the most powerful. They were the most powerful. Like, that was the meta. So what if we do a ballista only build? Let's, do, let's try that. Um, which, 
We're gonna want a mana bank at some point. Um, ballistas. Yeah. Okay. Ballista deal one damage to health. Okay. Um, decrease. So we're not gonna. S oh no. Okay. We'll just give them shield. We do want to slow them though. Okay. So we're only gonna do ballistas here. <laughs> Let's try that. That seems like it could be a good strat because you can upgrade it to do literally everything. So ballistas do more damage to health. And ballistas do more damage to shields. Monsters deal an additional damage. Sure. We didn't learn our lesson. It's not like we, we learn, you know, we're not learning any lessons or anything. Um, okay. Ballistas do more damage to health. Ballistas do more damage to shields. Because you put priorities on the obelisk, they couldn't use the same target attack bonus. Oh, you're probably right, actually. You are probably right about that. Okay, protection. You're probably definitely right about that. Okay, there's a house we want to protect. Protect the house! Oh, dude, they do so much health damage. They're, they're doing so much health damage here. And yeah, like, honestly, it's a lot of fun to do ballista-only builds. Surprisingly. Um, ballistas do more damage to armor. Ballistas do poison damage. Okay, make them a little bit faster here. It's okay. Okay, so we covered that house. Oh, it's already splitting. Dude, look at how early we got a split here. I don't know if we should be believing in TTG luck. I don't know. I don't know. That's a pretty early split. At least this part's going right here, so we could like heavily build on whatever this mountain is. Um. Okay. Let's. Uh, okay. Let's get the university because we're gonna want that at some point. All ballista slow enemies. Um. Increase their haste. Why not? So we're gonna expand here. Here's another house we want to cover. Apparently, it's making me build these ballistas in the most obnoxious of places in order to get the income for protecting the houses. But we'll be, I mean, we'll obviously be fine for a little bit here. And the fact that we get two upgrades per round instead of one is going to help, you know, progress this very fast. Nice. Okay. Um, ballistas do more damage to armor. <gasps> ballistas do bleed damage now. Uh, monsters get a little bit more health. Let's keep expanding this way here. Keep building around this house. Will I use mana bolts? Yes, I will. So that's, um, and also, yeah, let me know if it's too loud. I, I think, I mean, I'm assuming you guys are told me right now. I don't know why I keep being self-conscious about that. Um, but yeah, we are going to be doing mana bolts, um, which is where one of the upgrades say that all of our um, ballistas take mana to fire. And uh, yeah, that's why I picked up mana banks here is so we could actually have, you know, a mana, mana bolts for sure. Um, okay, ballistas do more damage to armor. Um, okay, so here it is. Ballista. Actually, I'm going to wait to get mana bolts a little bit. I'm going to do regenerate 1% of my maximum mana a second. I want to like, because you could throw really easily with that. So I don't know why you would ever do monsters drop one less gold. Like that just sounds not good. Um, okay. Give uh, them a little bit more health here. Going to keep expanding this path here. Okay. We finally covered that house. We're not putting the ballistas in a very optimal place right now. Because we're just entirely trying to cover these houses, which it will be worth it long term. <sighs> Obelisk's duel. Yeah, all ballistas do more burn damage. Doubles the range bonus elevation gives all ballistas. Oh, did that change? They changed that. Instead of just... Oh, they changed what longbow is. Instead of just giving ballistas more range, it's now doubling the range bonus elevation gives all ballistas. That's interesting. They actually kind of... I think that's a nerf. I do think that's a nerf, actually. But we'll take that, though. I think it's still good. But uh, Monsters get more armor here. Hey, cast elemental ballistas. Exactly. It's so it's so satisfying. Hey, duck sauce. Hope you have a good good rest of the day. 
Okay, so let's get some ballistas up on these high places. Some get, get some actually good, but it's so satisfying watching the ballistas like have all these different elements that they're firing, you know? We'll put one right here. And uh, it will be worth it. How can I short this TTG stock? <laughs> Yeah, seeking, dude. Um, or unless you were just saying by the other person. Um, okay, so we're gonna take. You know what? I'm actually gonna try to do haunted houses here. Communicate with, communicate with, and tax the dead from nearby graves. And we're gonna then say. All ballistas slow enemies for more. Gonna give them a little bit more movement speed. So if we see any graves, we're gonna start taxing them. And I'm gonna go ahead and build a mana bank here. We'll start building mana banks, I think, to start prepare. I want to build at least one mana bank here in preparation for us getting mana bolts. Because mana bolts is so good. But obviously it uses mana. And also we need mana in order to tax the, the, the ghosts. So our ballistas have burn, poison, and bleed damage for shield, armor, and health. Exactly. And we've been buffing their stuff like that. Um, okay, so ballistas do more damage to shields. And, okay, I still kind of want to do banditry. Enemies drop two gold on death, but also deal one damage to the tower. I don't know. It seems worth it, but we keep getting screwed by it. But I don't know. It seems so good if you do early on. So I'm going to try it again. Monster's a little bit faster here. Okay, let's throw a couple down more ballistas here. That's a good ballista spot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn some of these to the fastest. Some of these need to be fastest, at least the further back ones. If you're using high placement, the longbow is technically a minor buff. Oh, really? That's good. I mean, I guess overall I would still maybe say it's a... I don't know. It's, it's, it's an interesting change. I think it makes it at least a little bit more interesting because it was just way too good probably across the board. We, we really could use the uh, mana bolts right now. Um, Ballista's 3% chance to... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Third, okay. Yeah. 3% chance to freeze enemies. Um, and let's do banditry again. I don't know. I think... I think it... I've never really tried to do that, you know? But it seems like it'd be kind of cool. We do just need to keep building more of these things here. Um, and we'll do... Put some of these on fastest here for sure. You can make sure enemies don't get to the tower. Banditry's good. <laughs> Why buff their speed? Because I have to buff something. I have to buff something. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be buffing their speed as much. I don't know. This is... Yeah, this is an island I really should be building up more of. I think. Do you ever do a crit chance build? I don't know its strength, but I'm intrigued. I... I don't, for some reason, I don't really do crit builds in, in games that much. Maybe I should try it. Maybe I should try. Speed seems OP for them. Yeah, maybe you guys are right. Um, Banditry 3. Screw it. We're going all in, baby. Uh, mana bolts. Okay, Ballistas now consume a small amount of mana and get 4 base damage. That's good. So we'll give them more shields. Okay, let's see. Let's see the mana. Are we good on mana here? I don't know. I don't know if I should, like, prioritize building more mana banks. finally got mana bolts which is gonna help an absurd amount actually look at this we are shredding them now we are absolutely shredding them now with mana bolts holy cow ballista's on the plus three hill i can see my house from here <laughs> dude it's not even touching the mana i mean that's that's why you know i want to make sure we were prepared maybe we were a little bit over prepared but this is oh wait what, what is that oh that's a mana. oh i was like it's our mana bank i was like what is that what is that? Okay. Um, okay, let's do let's do crit chance. People want me to try crits. Let's try that. Crit and increase maximum bleed. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to decrease. Okay, I don't want them to drop less gold though. Increase their haste. Okay, because that's not technically their movement speed. Okay, yeah. Um, there. Mana Bolts 5 was a weird time for this game. 
what was that a meta or something? I, I know like that was the meta at one point was just the ballista meta. That's why I'm trying to try to do ballistas here because yeah, ballista builds are good. You know, I don't know if they got nerfed into oblivion or not. I don't I don't really know, but this is going insane, and our man is not even really getting affected at all. This is I mean look at this. We are just deleting them, and there's multiple levels of mana bolts we can do. Um all towers gain crit chance equal to their level, but lose base damage. Sorcery. Okay, let's... Um, attacks against bleeding enemies, 5% chance to crit. Um, ballistas now consume a medium amount of mana and gain 4 base damage. And we'll give them a little bit more health. Okay, so we got the... Um, they're going to they're gonna be spending even more mana. Also, there's an Oogie right there. That's the thing. I don't know if I should have some of them targeting stronger people. I don't know. I probably should. Maybe we have some of them, like, most arm, most health, most armor, most shield. I don't know. Because that is anyone going to hit? The oh, dude, 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 our mana. Our mana. Our mana. Here's a mana bank. Oh, God, dude, our mana. We're out of mana. We're out of mana. We're out of mana. Uh-oh. That means literally no one can fire. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, we might have lost. Dude, ah, I went from having all of the mana in the world to not having enough mana. Oh my gosh. Okay, I built another mana bank. Come on. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I think we're okay. Maybe, 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 maybe. Not. Oh, he got frozen. We just got to build a million mana banks. We'll be okay though. I'm dressing, dropping less gold may actually be okay since you have some gain gold. It could, it could, but... I, don't, I feel like that defeats the purpose, though. I don't know. Um, okay. Ballistas. Uh, let's raise the death racks rate. And let's... Um, when we start taxing them. And all of these are bad here. Um, all towers gain crit chance equal to their level, but lose one base damage. Sure. Fortified monsters are stronger. Treasure chest. Regenerate another 2% of your max mana per second. Increase maximum poison. Okay. It's okay here. How much mana is needed to fire? It doesn't actually... Oh, uh, four. Four per shot. Kind of insane. So we just need mana banks. Man, we gotta literally just build as many mana banks as we can until we're okay again. There's, there's no other, there's no other option to do right now. So, okay, even though everything's split, they're still, like, close together in a way. One beta test that breaks everything in this game, so I'm not the best person to ask. Okay, another mana bank. I'm beating triple defense march ballistas only. It was a fun challenge. Oh my gosh. Every ballista will have a different consumption due to how mana per shot is calculated. Oh, that's that's interesting. Bleeding enemies take uh, extra one health damage from all attacks. Sure. Um, you know what? Raise the death tax rate by 10%. Fortified monsters. So we're waiting. Oh, wait. Oh, there's already haunted houses. Okay, we want to build haunted houses to tax these dudes. But we also need mana banks because those consume mana as well. So we're trying to tax the dead. I want, I want to try to get as much gold as we possibly could. You know? Which means we need as much mana as we can here. So haunted houses. Let me, let me tax these. Tax the dead people. Tax the dead people. No way we lose while I'm doing other stupid stuff. No way. It's actually impossible for us to lose this game. Uh, unless I build too many of these and don't have enough mana. Which <laughs> I might have just done. <laughs> I need to build more mana things. Oh, no. I need to get mana upgrades. That's what I need. Okay, here's another mana bank. Okay, every enemy killed regenerates 1% maximum mana. And regenerate another 3% of your maximum mana a second. That went from 21 per second regeneration to 32 Regeneration per second. We're going to do protection five. <sighs> How do you tax dead people? That's a good question. Okay. So I think that helped a lot. So I'm going to continue trying to build haunted houses. I don't know. I really hope I don't throw. But I, if I'm wanting haunted houses, I want this and I want them now. So I don't know. I really should be building more ballistas. But screw that. Am I right? Am I right or am I right? 
Oh man, <laughs> I'm gonna lose the game. Mana siphons would help too. Uh, nah. I, 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 I'm a, I'm a mana bank boy. I'm a mana bank boy. Because if you keep increasing your maximum uh, mana, and then you keep having these things that, you know, give you a lot of money per mana, then I think it's just worth it more to just keep focusing. Oh, jeez. Keep focusing. We're fine. Keep focusing on, on you know, that. Um, okay, Ballista. Triple the range bonus elevation giving to uh, that. Uh, quadruple the range bonus elevation gives to Ballistas. Okay, this is actually insane. Wait, what? Okay, let's give him a little bit of movement speed. Oh my, dude, the range on the Ballistas are crazy. Um, okay, Haunted Houses. Dude, I want a Haunted House literally everywhere a Haunted House could be. I don't think, yeah. They have to be on the same elevation. Okay, any more Haunted Houses? We're gonna tax the, the dead. Okay, I think we've covered all of them. So we can actually start building things now again. No, we got to tax. Tax the dead. 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 Okay, we're done taxing the dead. Back to back to building uh, ballistas here. It's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I should, like, I think I got to have a mix of some of them targeting fast, some of them targeting the strongest. I don't know. The IRS build. <laughs> The ultimate IRS build. I mean, we're just doing so much money here. It's called inheritance tax, and it mostly affects the bottom 80% since rich people can place assets and trusts. True dat. True dat. Okay, though, we're getting we're getting screwed. We might have been too greedy. We might have been too... Actually, we're fine, because these things are strong, right? We do just got to, like, make sure we stop. I mean, we. that's the thing. It was a little bit of a risk, but... I think it'll be good. Okay, all mana banks store an extra 15 ma mana. So that went from... Oh, my God. That's so good. Um, okay. Uh, mana bolts. Okay. Do we think we can do mana bolts three? No way I throw. Ballistas now consume a large amount of mana, gain 4% base damage. No way we throw. We just got to build mana bank, 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 mana bank. That's all we got to do. Monster gain additional ammo. Okay, sure. Okay. Mana bank. Uh, mana bank. Uh, mana bank. Okay, let's see how this goes. We're going to need to keep building mana banks. Because, I mean, that was a really risky take. Mana bank. Let's see. How, how's it looking? How's it looking? Oh, dude, that's consuming so much. Maybe. No, are we, are we okay? Okay, we're okay. Tax the rich. We're not the rich. I guess we're taxing the dead. Okay, tax the... Okay, we are we doing okay? I mean, yeah, our, our thing should be doing so much more damage. Dude, look at how much damage our ballistas are doing now! Oh my gosh! That's insane. That's insane. That's so good, actually. Oh, they're teleporting. Yeah, some of these people teleport now. That is something we gotta worry about. Okay. Um, boop. Tax the dead. Tax the dead. Tax the dead. Raise the death tax rate by 5%. Um, all ballistas deal 25% more bleed damage. Sounds good. Um, do we? So I have universities ready, but we have to wait for them to spawn. We have to actually wait for them something to spawn on the, on the map to use them. They're struggling with armor. Hmm. Well, now we can build more ballistas, though. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, dude, we're earning so much from those. Ballista, 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 um, ball Ballista, actually we're fine, let's instead build more haunted houses, haunted house, 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 are we doing okay, we doing okay, can I keep, oh there's, that's a boss, it's a dust spec, I think we're okay, I think we're okay, haunted house, is that all the haunted houses? Okay. How we doing? How we doing? Oh, you got your stretch yet? Yeah, let's get some stretches while we watch ourselves kill the dust spec. This attacks for dying now. Dust spec thought he could teleport. Oh dang it, we didn't get a we didn't get a chest from him. Unfortunately. Yeah, honestly, with the banditry plus the this IRS build, 
This could maybe do okay. I don't know. It's going to be risky, but these guys keep teleporting forward. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. We're taxing everything we can tax, I think. Okay. Uh, mana bank store an extra 15 maximum mana. Sure. Dude, yeah. We, we're, we're, our mana stuff's amazing. Um, let's start getting ready for universities. All universities get a 3% bonus to research. I imagine we got to be somewhat close to it, right? Uh, give them a little bit more health. Okay. Haunted house. 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 Dude, we are earning so much money. We are earning so much money. Just keep throwing down ballistas here. Seems to like making haunted spots. <laughs> I'm just secretly a ghost. I died seven years ago. Haunted house. Or no, that's not a haunted house. That's a that's a, what we call a ballista. But yeah, I, I just like money. The more money, the more ballista. And then the more haunted houses we can build. <laughs> I just imagine if we have an absurd amount of money, we gotta be able to win, right? I mean, pay to win, baby, right? Pay to win, baby. Okay, we probably wanna start throwing some ballistas around here. Okay, also probably should start upgrading ballistas. I think we're good on mana. Maybe. Um, ballistas do more poison damage. Uh, ballistas get crit chance. Um. Oh my gosh, dude. The buffs to these enemies are starting to get a bit insane. Okay, 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 okay. Haunted house. 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 Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Back to making a million ballistas here. I'm Mr. Krabs. This is like the opposite of pay to win because you're getting the money. I'm getting the money and then I'm winning though. Because I have money. The way you say haunted house, it's... How's the weirder it sounds? <laughs> Man is starting to be affected a little bit. A little bit. I think we're okay. For now. I'll keep my eye on it, though. I, I can't build universities right now. I literally cannot build a university. You have to build the universities around... Um, you have to build universities around this, like... Uh, spooky, spooky stuff. Like, there, there'll be like a cultist thing that we have to build the university around. We can't just build them when we want. Um, but I have them on standby. Trust me. I, yeah, universities are how you scale into the late game. I definitely know that. Um, okay, every enemy killed regenerates some mana. We'll do that since we seem to be worrying about a little bit about that. Poison enemies take extra shield damage. Um, increase their armor just a little bit. Haunted house, haunted house. Ballista, ballista. This is a crazy, this is a crazy. Um, ballista. And we're just letting all of these auto level up. Still waiting for, yeah, university to pop up. Second we do, you know we can, or we, we, you know we are gonna. Dude, we're earning so much money from the ballista, or from the haunted houses. This is like the first time. Oh, what the? What the? Yo, 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 yo. What, 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 what? Are we okay? I don't, I don't know if we're okay. And I know I should be upgrading instead of building, but I want as many ballistas as I can. This is insane. This is just, I don't know why. Like some of my favorite builds are only using one tower. It's just, I don't know. Ballista builds are so much fun. Okay. Um, Ballistas do more burn damage. Ballistas get more crit chance. Let's increase their haste a bit. Some serious money. I'm a hyper capitalist. Okay. Haunted house. 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 That didn't. That's not. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, ballista. 
So it's like, yeah, we have a lot of splitting, but the, the ballistas have so much range. Oh, that's a boss. Her Herakulis. He died. We did not get a chest, though. This is so much fun, though. This is so much fun. And I'm keeping an eye on him. Waiting. Waiting for, uh... Waiting for university opportunities here. Oh, there was an Oogie here. I didn't even see that. Our ballistas are starting to cost... This costs 865. They're starting to almost cost 1,000. Okay, universities, 2% bonus to research. Um, poisoned enemies take an extra one shield damage from attacks. Let's give them a bit more shields. Okay, what's the treasure chest? Uh, poisoned enemies also slow them. Nice. All universities gain a 1% bonus to all research. Okay, come on, give me, give me a university here. Still no university options here. Probably need to start building ballistas in more different places here. Music's starting to go insane here. Yeah, we're at level 26. It's a new game now. I'm sorry, I just had a, I just had a, I just had a stroke because of the music. It's okay though. That's how you're supposed to do it, right? Uh, I do not know the answer, Awesome Turtle Rat. There's a bunch of factors. Cause yeah, I, I were potentially filming a collab video with Sunday at some point and stuff like that. The game did get brighter. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Okay, um, every enemy, uh, all towers do more damage to shields. Um, let's do every enemy regenerates a little bit more of the max mana here. Uh, I'll do decrease monsters maximum slow by 5%. I don't like taking that, but whatever. Dude, we are earning so much money from taxing these dang dead people. I'm surprised our mana banks are doing okay. I mean, it's because we've been getting so many upgrades, you know. Oh, that was a mini boss and we just got a chest. Uh, bleeding enemies take an extra one health from all attacks. Sounds good to me. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot going on right here. But it's working out. It's axing dead people. Hey, man. They got to pay their, their fair share. And they got to pay more than their fair share. Because I want money. Money, 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 money. I'm just looking for anywhere really high up to build things. Okay. Um, increase maximum burn per second. Um, crit steal 10% of the target's current bleed is extra bleed damage. That sounds kind of cool. Okay, give him more health. There we... Oh, no, that's just a... Okay, whatever. We put a ballista there. I thought that... We still haven't been able to do the universities yet. Put some more haunted houses. We still have not been able... Do a university yet? It doesn't want to. Doesn't want to spawn. Yeah, the range is insane on the high up ones. You're, yeah, it's crazy. Said mana banks are okay. Now mana's gonna plummet down. <laughs> I gotta pay them taxes somehow. We'll build one more mana bank just in case. Oh yeah, our mana is going down a little bit actually. Yeah, let's let's build a couple mana banks here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Our ballistas are starting to cost over a thousand per ballista because we've just been able to buy so many of them. Oh my gosh, look at this! Okay, let's start. Okay, shield damage, shield damage, shield damage, shield damage, shield damage, shield damage. Oh my gosh. Shield damage, health damage, shield damage. I'm upgrading shield, health, health, shield, shield, health. Shield, health, shield, shield, health. 
See, maybe I should start upgrading. Shield, health, shield, shield. Health, 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 shield. Health, 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 upgrade. Health, okay. Woo, that was close. Oh, you earn a bunch of money and can't build education. Isn't that the American dream? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um. Increase maximum poison. And burning enemies burn faster based on how much slow they have. Sure. Um. Give them a little bit more. Ugh. I don't. I I hate having to upgrade these guys now. Oh, there's another ballista there. What is... So this is just going to be an empty spot right here. Also, 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 the game does not want me to have a university. Like, at all. At all. I need to start upgrading, honestly. I'm going to just start upgrading some of my stuff. It's getting so expensive uh, to, to buy new ballistas. So I think this is about the time where it would be a decent idea... To just upgrade a bunch of our towers, I think. What do you need for a university? I don't really remember, but there's something that spawns, like, directly on the map. Like, it's it's a direct spawn on the map that we have to build the universities around. Oh my god, this is insane. Yeah, upgrading was definitely the play here. I think I always just want things to, like, auto-upgrade, so I don't really do that too much, but... Our ballistas are costing so much money. Um, increase maximum bleed, burn, and poison per second by 40. That's crazy. Um, increase the rate at which slow effects burn speed. Bleeding enemies take an extra health from all attacks. Sure. Um, okay, monsters get a little bit faster. Yeah, if you try to just up place a university, it says place this building next to an occult shrine to learn untold amounts of knowledge. So it literally is doing nothing right now. It does nothing. Oh, there was a chest. Oh, there was a chest. Um, burning enemies take an extra armor damage from all attacks. Actually, let's increase maximum bleed. Okay. Oh my gosh, still no way to do a university. This game does not want our people to have education. I don't know what what this is insane actually that it hasn't an, uh, so that's what we need. We need an occult shrine thing. I think when you upgrade them, it also raises their mana cost. You're probably right. Yeah, I'm gonna build one more mana bank. Okay, let's just let's just let's just keep upgrading here a bit. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, it does make them cost more money or more. Uh, mana. Uh, let's keep, I don't know. It's like I want to keep building more, but I feel like I need to keep leveling up. Oh, I don't know. Okay, we've upgraded a bunch. I think we start trying to building a couple more, though. We, we only should build them if it's like a plus three, like a really good spot for them, you know? Who needs school anyway? Okay, um... So we're going to do poison enemies take an extra shield. Uh, burning enemies take... Uh, okay, yeah. Poison enemies take extra shield damage from all attacks. Crits deal 10% of the target's current poison as extra poison damage. Yeah, I think we're, we definitely want to start doing crits here. Um, monsters gain additional 15%. Oh, gosh. Like, stacking that is so... I'm going to just do monsters drop one less gold. We cannot keep buffing these guys up. That's the thing. We cannot... Keep buffing them up. Okay, there's something. Is our mana suffering? Probably a little bit. Let's build two mana banks here. Oh. I can make an occult shrine. If you want to build a university, it will cost you a bunch of money and the curriculum will be <laughs> weird, but I can do it. I mean, we seem to be doing okay. I think I think level 45 is the max level here. Yeah, so I think every time I build a new ballista, I'm just going to auto-upgrade it to level 10. Oh, there was a chest right here. 
Crit steal an additional 10% of current bleed. Sweet. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we want to keep bumping the crit rate. Crit steal an additional 10% of target's current poison. Um, the research breakthroughs. Yeah. Actually, let's do increase maximum burn. Okay, protection. Oh my gosh, give me uni- Okay, we finally got it. There we go. University, university, university. So we're going to do this one. Get this up to a 15% chance. 15% chance. 15% chance. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Give me money, 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 money. Are we doing okay? Are we okay? We're okay. Okay. So we have a 15% chance. Yeah, okay. That's good. So we now slowly have a chance to just permanently buff all of our towers here. So we finally got a university here. I'll build one more uh, mana bank. Start upgrading these a bit more. So yeah, that university is going to be important. I think we're fine. I may try to bump the values up here a bit more. Get them to 20%. So 20% for that. Yeah, we're okay. 20% for the armor. Okay. Um, increase the rate at which slow affects burn speed. Um, so it won't actually... Um, it's not helping yet. It's not helping yet. We'll know. It'll pop up here if we get the buff. It's only a percent chance. So we kind of got to get lucky. Increase maximum burn, bleed, and poison. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do crit chance. I think we should bump that up. Um, decrease the slow just a little bit. Oh, another university we can do. Okay, nice. I don't think we actually got the value, I don't think. Whatever. University, university, university. Now they're starting to show up. So let's get 15% on each of these here. Problem is, is we're investing a lot in this. And it's, it, this is a long-term thing, but I think we're in an okay position to do this. Because you have to do this, it seems like, if you want to do good. So we still haven't had a university help us yet. I think we're doing okay here still. And then, so this was a health armor. This is going to be our shield one. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, dude, we died. We lost. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying here. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it. Ah, that's the thing with universities, though. Oh, that's the thing. Oh. Oh. Man. It's like you got to focus on universities if you want to survive long term, but maybe I went too much into them or something like that. Oh, man. Well... I think that's our new... I don't remember what we got last episode when we tried the uh, the Monster Rush or whatever. But man, rip, rip, rip indeed here. But either way, that was still really fun. I, I freaking love Rogue Tower. Um, and uh, I definitely would be down to, uh, to play it more. Um, if you guys wanted to, uh, to see more. So I think it's a good stopping point for the Rogue Tower part of the stream. Um, if you guys, uh, you know, want to see more, uh, definitely let me know, you know, in the comments down below, stuff like that. Um, you know, let me know if you have any builds you want us to potentially try. Uh, so consider subscribing, ringing that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say, to be notified uh, when, uh, you know, if more Rogue Tower videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a whole playlist in case, you know, this is your first time or you want to check out some of the older ones. Uh, so yeah, you're going to be grinding out some rogue tower on your own that I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.